Hello and welcome to another Packet Tracer activity. Uh, this activity will be viewing PDU information sent between client and server. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and enter the simulation mode here. Okay, we're going to add a complex PDU. The external client here. The destination there. Alright, and we're going to change this to HTTP click that again. Starting source port will be 1, 1000 and this will be 120. I'm going to create the PDU. We're going to make sure our filters are set for HTTP and TCP only. Alright, that looks good. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and observe the traffic flow. Sends a switch to the internet. I should send it. The switch, sweet. It's going back and forth. For this to time it out here, or to buffer it out. I'm going to view previous events. We're going to take a look at some packets here. So let's just click on this guy. All right. So this is the uh, OSI layer model. Um, this would be the uh, hardware layer. And then we've got the Ethernet layer, IP layer, TCP IP layer. And then these are the application layers that are uh, client server applications. All right, so uh, we notice here that we can see four layers. Uh, it's because it's the packet's at a server. Um, with a switch, we should only be able to see two layers as it can unpack all the way. But if you notice here in these uh, layers, it um, displays what is seen there. So the frames destination MAC addresses matches the receiving MAC addresses. All right, so the device encapsulates the PDU. So it's saying that the computer um, the computer's MAC address matches what's in the frame, so the computer will open it and read it. Um, the IP frame uh, destination MAC addresses matches the device IP address or the broadcast energy, so it deencapsulates the packet further. So um, the IP header in the OSI model has the source and destination IP addresses, and then TCP has a source port. Um, it contains things like sequence numbers, so if, uh, say it was sent a message and it breaks down in a puzzle, uh, the first piece of sent will have sequence 1, the second one will have sequence 2, and uh, so on and so forth. Um, let's take a look at a switch. At a switch event, preferably not one in the cloud. Okay, if we look here, it can only deencapsulate up to two frames. So um, it opens its MAC address, and uh, the switch says, "Oh, I have that MAC address with my uh, um, table. I'll just send it to uh, where it goes." Okay, this has been the uh, another packet tracer where we um, viewed uh, PDU information sent between client and server. Uh, thanks for tuning in.